products such as moisturizers, serums, primers, balms, or for anything along those lines, I just use my hands to apply them. I don't feel that brushes are necessary for these steps because I get the very same effect when I use my hands. Also, brushes are not necessary in general. You can use your hands and if you do, that's completely fine. You do what's easiest for you. But in terms of myself, I just prefer using brushes to apply certain products. For foundation, I love the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I wear a liquid foundation during the day and this is my go-to brush for liquids. I wear a cream foundation on nights out and for that I love the Sigma F60 foundation brush. Unfortunately I don't have this here to show you as I recently lost it but it's a painter style foundation brush and I'll link it below for you anyway. I wouldn't say the expert face brush is dome shaped, it's a bit broader than that. The bristles are densely packed yet soft to the touch and it gives my foundation a flawless finish. I twist and turn my wrist and angle the brush head in different ways to ensure that I'm applying foundation to all areas of my face and that I have a nice even coverage. I like to spend a lot of time working foundation into my skin and I find I can do that best with a smaller brush. This one is the perfect size for me. It fits perfectly around my nose, my chin, temples, in between my brows. It's quite a nifty little brush. For my under eye concealer, I like to use the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F23 Pointed Tip Face Brush. As you can see, this brush is tapered to a point, which is why I love it for my under eye concealer. It fits perfectly under the eye and the tip allows me to get the product right into that inner corner. This is of particular importance to me because I apply my eye makeup first and then my foundation. While the foundation brush I use is small, it isn't small enough to apply a product to that spot near my tear duct, but this brush does so no area is left uncovered. I have a lot of discoloration on my skin from acne scars and all that jazz, so if I want some extra coverage on those areas, I use my expert face brush and stipple over the area rather than sweep the brush like I did to apply my foundation, and that just ensures that I get maximum coverage. To set everything in place, I like to use the Sedona Lace Tulip Contour FBO3 brush. I use the tip of the brush to set under my eyes and this eliminates the chance of the concealer smudging or creasing throughout the day. I then use the brush on its side to set along my cheeks. I move back to the tip then to set in between my eyebrows and then for my forehead, temples and everywhere else I move back to the side of the brush. For bronzer, I like to use the Sigma Large Angle Contour F40 brush. The bristles of the brush are soft and fluffy, so I can dust product over the areas that I want and it'll give me a nice diffused finish. However, if you do want a more structured look, you can use padding motions over the area that you want to define, opposed to using sweeping motions with the brush. The angled edge means it blends product nicely around the forehead, down onto the cheeks and around the jawline. For contouring, I love the Sigma Small Contour F05 brush. I love this brush because it's small and rounded. It fits perfectly into the hollows of my cheeks so I can define them with ease. You've probably noticed a pattern that my favourite brushes are based on their convenience, their shape and their size and the next two brushes are no exception. But before I get onto them, I'm switching back to my Sedona Lace Tulip Contour Brush. I like to use this after I've finished contouring. I take a little bit of powder on the tip of the brush and I sweep this beneath the hollows of my cheeks to further define them. For blush, I like to use the Sedona Lace Dome Contour FB05. The contour brush I just showed and the last two brushes are all quite similar in style, but I use them for different purposes. I use the Sedona Lace Dome Contour for blush. The hairs are longer and more tapered than the Sigma Contour Brush, so for me, I find it suits better for blush application. Lastly then, we have the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F14 Round Top Cheek Brush. I like to apply a lighter matte face powder under my eyes to brighten that area up, and this is one of the ways I like to use this brush. The second way, which you might find unusual, is for applying highlighter. I pick up some product on one area of the brush so that I'm not highlighting my whole head. 
and then I tap the brush onto the tops of my cheeks and any areas that I want to add some sparkle to. The brush picks up and packs on product really well. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed my favourite eye brushes and face brushes videos. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing and I'll see you all soon.